What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So, guys, I want to talk about something that many men have an issue with doing. And that is standing up for themselves. And the reason why I like celebrity so much is because there's so many lessons that a lot of black men can learn or men in general can learn in relationships, the good things celebrities do, the bad things that they do. And I want to talk about our brother Tyrese. Tyrese has made a lot of relationship mistakes. And in this case with the Instagram model, Zelly Timothy, um, you know, he was crying on Instagram about how he wanted to make her his wife and she didn't want that and taking it public. I also think that was a bad move, but Tyrese is an emotional guy. But I do want to talk about what he did right today. And a lot of men, um, despite the money that they have, because money is just one thing, right? And, 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 and having fame is another. But once a woman can get close to you, that don't mean anything anymore. She gets to see you as a human person and all of that. And that wears off. So now she's just dealing with you as an individual. So the money don't make no sense anymore. It is the, the fame don't matter anymore. It's the fact that you're just an individual and you're going to stand on what you say or not. So Tyrese is a crybaby, right? But now he broke up with the lady. He let her be right now. She probably didn't think that that would happen. Okay. But he did it. He left her alone and a lot of times what guys do in relationships you know we have problems with ladies uh we go down the rabbit hole of let's give ultimatums you know let's uh let's do this and that let's threaten to leave you and all this stuff and very rarely do guys just walk away women walk away more often than guys do and really guys in relationships especially if you're successful and you're actually contributing to a lady's life um you're valuable you're more valuable than what you think Many times men have low self-esteem and when a woman disrespects you, you threaten on leaving. And then when a woman leaves, you pretty much put the onus on yourself and you're trying to beg her to come back and it never works. But, but what Tyrese did was listen. She don't want to listen to me. She's not hearing what I'm saying. I'm out. Okay. And she had some time to think about her life without him in the life. Now look what she posted here on social media just 12 hours ago. Day music! Tyrese, when we first got together, we promised each other that we would let nothing get in the way of our love, not access our social media. Yet we've been getting in the way of our love. Stop the show, you're unaccountable. I will not get into anything about what you've done and said. Still being unaccountable. I can only speak for myself. The things I've done have made you so sad. You chose to break that promise. Oh, blaming him again. But listen, whether I'm right or wrong, I'm sorry. All I've ever wanted for us was to be happy. Going through your divorce, your mother's passing, your sister, and now your father with you has been hell. And being your way of escape has been beautiful. But there were times that I let my stubbornness get in the way of what we were building. Times where I've done things and I've said things that you didn't like. With you being my first serious relationship, I thought it would be easy to move on. Yet, with you not being with me, I have realized that the absence of my person is even worse than that. Stop the show. So even she's making excuses for her own, his own shortcomings, trying to blame him. But the fact is, he won't talk to her. Okay? This is the only way that she can communicate with him. You want to go and be stupid, he said? Go. So the only thing that she can do now is to make this post public because why he won't talk to her. You want to act stupid. You want to think you're all that. Let me humble you real quick. Well, by, by removing myself from your life. And let me tell you this guys, many times as men, we have thought about women that don't want to do what we're asking them to do. We call names. Um, we make, uh, you know, certain ultimatums. We tell them how they're not going to be nothing when they leave and all this other stuff. And I, I mean, let me just say this, the way that the woman perceives that is being weak and they will be right. Okay. It shows that 
you don't really have options. And I understand that, you know, you can be frustrated about how somebody has mistreated you. And I've been there myself. But again, you allow them to do that. Okay. So to let them know how much of a man that they're missing out on, leave them by themselves. And then what do you see? She will definitely try to move on. Don't, don't get it twisted. She has tried, but she has also failed. Okay. Opportunities are not knocking at the door like she thought. Yeah, you got the blue check and everything and you're doing your stuff and okay, he ain't dealing with you no more. And now what you're realizing is instead of being the main lady, now dudes might be coming into you in the Instagram DM and, and you might be a side chick. And that's really what can happen. A lot of ladies don't understand this. You have a guy that's willing to claim you, that's really successful. Um, and, and there's very few guys like Tyrese. There are many more women like her. And I mean like, you know, beautiful on Instagram and, and the guys who are rich are, are few. So what happens is, yeah, somebody knows about you and dudes will holler at you. But how many dudes is willing to say like, you know what, I'm gonna just drop all the ladies I'm dealing with and just deal with you. That don't happen that often. So when you look at what your prospects are and they're not good, now it's a problem. Now it's an issue. Now you want to come back. But see, she didn't have no respect for the guy. Okay? You don't have any respect for the guy. And now look at you. Now all of a sudden you got to humble yourself. Because see, the only way to make people respect you is to remove you from them, remove yourself from them. Especially if you feel like, look, you don't really have, I mean, I like you and we got to really uh, differentiate between, I really, you know, really, I'm fond of you. And it's a difference between you actually give me something in my life that I can't give myself. Those are two different things. Like there are people I love being around. They're a blast being around. Do they do anything for me? Absolutely not. There is nothing that they can do for me for the most part. I mean, I have content creator friends that I just think that are, are, are hilarious and you hear on YouTube. Uh, would I be fine without ever collaborating or talking with them? Absolutely. So there's a difference, just like in your friends and family. There's a guy that you know, or a woman that you know, you, 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 you spend time with them. There's a, it's a, it's electric. It was one chick I, I, I met like that in, um, I believe it was is, is, is in South Africa. I was crazy about this, this particular lady. Electric. I never had this much fun with a girl. Was she good for me? No. Every time I was with her, I had a great time. I never had that much fun with any woman in my entire life. Relationship wise, terrible. And I'm doing just as great as I always done, right? So I can get rid of you and I can still be quite okay. But now when a woman meets a man that can take care of things and is really doing well, is, is it hard to meet to, to, to get a man like that? Absolutely. And guys have to start letting people know, like, look, I am somebody important. You're going to find that out when I leave your ass alone. And let, them, let, them, let, let somebody else deal with it. Seriously, you don't got time for that shit. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again another episode of the celebrity drunk i appreciate you for all that you do subscribe to the bell check out the first company at the top and as you know the buffoonery remains at all time high i'm out